Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome to Simon's Cat Logic. We'll be finding out from a cat expert why cats behave the way they do. Today we're going to explore territory. Well, everyone knows that cats can be very territorial animals. And I've had first-hand experience of this with my own. Well, one of my old neighbours used to have this great big grey and white cat who was quite grumpy and very shy. But the thing I remember most about him was the fact that he really didn't get on with my cats at all. They really didn't like each other and they used to argue all the time over territory. This gave me the idea of actually making this cat an actual nemesis for, for Simon's cat. So Jazz crops up quite a few times in the Simon's Cat books and stories. He's always one to draw a line across the lawn and sit there scowling at poor old Simon's Cat on the other side. Which puts him at odds with Simon's Cat, who's a little bit hapless and will tend to walk through Jazz's territory without realising. And this, of course, upsets Jazz. And this makes them go head to head, which leads to all kinds of gags. Cats are naturally highly territorial animals, as they have shared ancestry with the African wildcat, which is a solitary hunter. Coming from an arid environment where prey is scarce, cats had to maintain a territory in order to gain enough food. So cats have developed very clever ways in order to keep other cats away. Cats leave long-lasting scent deposits, which act as messages so they don't have to come into contact with other cats, which could otherwise cause fights and injuries. Even domestic cats still leave their scent messages to mark their territories today by rubbing, spraying urine and scratching. It's important that both your cat and the neighbourhood cats have plenty of essential resources in their homes, such as beds, food bowls, water bowls, litter trays, toys, places to hide, places to get up high, and of course, a latrine site very close to the house if the cat likes to toilet outside too. Place resources in separate quiet areas all around the house so that your cat has easy access to these resources and doesn't have to go past anything that they may find threatening such as noisy appliances or the sight of other animals either inside the house or outside through the window. One of the most common unwanted behaviours is urine spraying in the home. Urine spraying can be performed by both male and female cats whether they are neutered or not. Whilst urine spraying outside is a normal behaviour for cats, if your cat starts spraying inside, then it may indicate that your cat doesn't feel secure in their surroundings. There's many possible reasons why a cat might spray. For example, the most common cause is actually other cats, whether that's inside the home or outside. But it could also be other changes within the household, such as redecorating or the introduction of their new baby. If you experience any unwanted behaviour with your cat or notice any changes in their behaviour, the first port of call is your vet. They can rule out any underlying medical conditions that may cause that behaviour. Once we've ruled out any underlying medical conditions, we can identify and deal with any causes of stress. A common cause of stress for both owner and cat is unwanted neighbourhood cats coming into the house. To resolve this, consider installing a cat flap that only allows exclusive access to your cat, such as a microchip cat flap like this, or a magnetic cat flap. If you have an exclusive entry cat flap, but you're still experiencing problems, maybe another cat in the neighbourhood is peering through the cat flap at your cat, then it may be necessary to take more steps. A solution for this would be to cover the cat flap on both sides so that neither cat can see each other. This gives a message for the inside cat so they feel nice and safe, whereas the outside neighbourhood cat would probably lose interest, hopefully, and go away. Covering up the cat flap is a temporary measure, but whilst it is covered, it's important that your cat has access to a litter tray. If your cat prefers outdoor access to toilet, you may need to escort them outside and act as their bodyguard. Cats are naturally territorial. It's part of being a cat. However, if you're experiencing any behavioural problems with your cat, such as aggressive behaviour towards the neighbourhood cats or territorial spraying, then it's first worth getting a vet to rule out medical problems and then seeking the help of a qualified behaviourist. So when you move into a new area, it might take a bit of time for your cats to establish their own territory. I know mine certainly did. Well, where I live now, there's a new character who's turned up on the scene. 
to hassle my real life cats. Only this time, he's a big fat ginger Tom with a great big fat round head. And what he likes to do is sneak in through the cat flap and steal their food. And he just puts his head against the cat flap and looks in. And of course my cats go crazy when they see this and I have to run out there and shoo him away. When I do that, of course, Teddy comes out all proud and acts like he did it and likes to flurry himself around the garden. Oh, <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you.